this is one of the features that I feel is a game changer in Filmora 14. Filmora has released Filmora 14 beta. I'm going to run through all of this in this video to help you decide whether this new version is worth it for you to upgrade. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I review video software, AI software and things to help you create videos. I'm going to run through all these new features and also let you know what are the features that I feel are the most impressive in this new version. I'm using version 14.0.3 beta and if you want to run through the features, you can go to your help and check for updates and you should show all these features here. Now, if you have Filmora 13 and you're not sure whether you want to upgrade, then perhaps you can try it on a different computer or install it in a different drive or save your uh, prior version before upgrading. So the first thing is Filmora Copilot. Copilot is a smart editing assistant, so to help you to get started, for example, if you want to do some picture adjustments or audio enhancement, and you can type in your command over here and let uh, the co-pilot help you. Now, if you are editing for some time, this might not make sense so much to you. If you are a newer editor, or perhaps you're new to Filmora, then such things will be useful because it will help you to uncover some of the features that you may not have think about. So let's do it. Let's say I want to do a transition. You, let's say you're looking for cool transition for your clip, then you can uh, have you choose your style. I want it to be modern, let's say modern and fast. So, so it will give you options what you can do for creating this. If you have been editing for some time, this may, this may not make sense so much for you. However, if you are new, I think it can help you think of uh, create some new ideas uh, that you haven't thought about. Next is multi-camera editing. And to me, I feel this is one of the best features in the new Filmora 14. If you are just using one camera view and make a talking head video, it doesn't, it might not make that much sense for you. However, if you start using two, three, four or more cameras, then it begins to make sense. I've gotten Filmora to do this compound clip and in order to create a compound clip, all you need to do is to select th uh, three or four clips together, right click and there will be a menu that comes up to say, uh, create multiple camera clip and Filmora will actually sync all those uh, clips together provided if you have audio. Now if you don't have audio then you may need to sync your clips manually. The second tip about multi-camera is that you need to turn on this menu over here. If you don't turn on this view, you will see the uh, multi-camera clip and it looks like this. Uh, three clips or four clips or number of clips that are stacked up over one another. If you are editing this then it is no different than just taking multiple clips and editing them. Turn this on, you are basically going to edit from here. I'm going to show you quickly how you can edit your uh, video fast. So let's say I'm looking at this talking head video and I want uh, this clip. All I need to do is to select this, select cut, and then you notice on the preview window it will be showing the scene. I move along and let's say I want to change scenes, I select another cut. Make sure this clip is selected and I changed here and this changes to the next scene. Next, if I go to further on and let's keep this short because the weird light over here. So let's change to this section to uh, say I'm making a cooking video. I want to change angles to cutting stuff. Okay, so I clip that and then over this section, I want to change back to the main clip, talking here video again in the front view, front camera view. So. So instead of going to each individual clip, removing a section that you do not want, or maybe adding transitions, this tool now allows you to just skip from one point to another angle, to another angle fast, and you really just see on the screen here and just select this and you are good to go. Okay. And if you make a mistake, you can just back up, make a cut, come back to this scene here. So it's so fast. So I think this is a, a game changer if you're making videos with multiple camera angles. You might think for tutorials, it doesn't really make sense. You can still do this for a tutorial. One will be say uh, talking head and then the second angle will be the tutorial. So you can actually flip from this 
uh, quickly. There are so many types of videos that I feel you can make use for this tool. For example, cooking videos, training videos, let's say a left, a direct or offset camera and then your a screen. Uh, there are just so many. Next is AI translation. I don't think this is a new tool because I, I think I've used it before. Next is AI voice enhancer because I record in a fairly decent room, although there's some noise occasionally. I think this won't be something that is so much useful for me. However, uh, if you have a studio that isn't so well prepared or if you are in a noisy environment, you can try this out and see whether it works well for you. So to try, just click on try and of course it just uh, changes the voice clarity, voice beautification. This is quite simple. You can just give it a go. I'm going to keep the video short. I feel this would be something useful if you have trouble looking for uh, the right sound that you want. All you need to do is go to the audio, go to tool, go to a, uh, AI sound effect and tool and type in the sound effect that you want. I didn't manage to try it because I have used up my credits uh, prior to this. Next is this AI face mosaic. So this is a new feature. It looks, it works quite similar to say blurring your face, but with this tool, it makes it much easier. So select this, go to effects, go to body effects and select face mosaic. You can select any of these. First, you need to download that effect and then drag it and drop it onto your video. It takes some time to process, but because I've done this earlier, that's why uh, you see it is actually quite immediate. Okay, so this face is uh, Mosaic blurred out. Okay, now if you select the video and go to effects and video, you can adjust the strength of this mosaic blur to minimal and whether you want to feather it. Now it makes blurring your face much easier. However, you can also do it manually, for example, just to track the face and then add a blur or a mosaic blur to that uh, tracking and you will also still have a blur face. However, there's also something interesting where if you invert it then to look like something out of a space. So if you can make futuristic video, perhaps this is something you can try as well. AI color palette. This allows you to match two different video clips so that they have a similar look and feel. In the past, I think Filmora have something like this. It is called color match. This isn't really something very new. Videos and noise is supposed to reduce the noise in your video if it's underexposed or it is dark. This is not related to audio. When you double click on your video, you will go to AI tools and scroll down. Uh, you can find video denoise here. You can select uh, weak, normal and strong. Uh, when I did that, there is some slight difference in sharpness for uh, certain things over here. Just a little bit. So uh, maybe when you have shot some footage of some really dark scenes but you have no choice but to use that clip, you can give it a try and see whether it improves your footage or not. Smart Search is something that has existed before, so I'm not going to cover this. In the past, there's motion tracking, so now there's an additional tool called Planner Tracking. Now, this allows you to track objects that are not just a square, but it allows you to do things in three dimensions as well. So, select Motion Tracking, Planner Tracking, and this is new. You can select Auto and you can all, uh, Advance, so let's try the auto first and you have this square that comes up. Now what I'm going to do is to zoom in further so that I can see this better and position this. I am going to move this over here. I'm going to track this uh, billboard. And once you're alright, click on start and you will track that plane. It will take some time. so. rectangle over this section so you can see that it is tracking quite well let's go back to zoom fit and this is what it looks like so once you have done your tracking you can actually link something to that track for example you can add a mosaic I'm gonna add something from my computer Now you notice that this is skewed, but I am now on a billboard somewhere. So this is really a nice cool feature to have in this tool. 
Finally, we have path curve and this feature allows you to make your animations smoother. So let's go to stickers and let's come to add this down onto this track over here. So let's just make this item smaller and it can be a logo or a smiley face or any icon or stickers like on by Filmora. So this is quite useful as well. So select this clip, uh, double click it, go to video basic so you can see path curve is over here however you need to turn on keyframes or transform in order to set this path curve okay you can turn it on here or off what you can do is that originally this uh, smiley face is located here and let's move it on and let's say we want it to let's change the position let's move it further on and let's this path is straight, all right? But you can actually uh, make it smoother by selecting this. You can right click and turn on keyframe type to continuous curve. And now you have a curve that you can adjust. So now your keyframes will be moving in a curve like this. Quite nice, I would say. Besides that, you can also do keyframes animation. So if you right click on the icon and select show keyframe animation it allows you to create a menu over here where you can see your keyframes here on the track itself this is an added option so if you double click it your path and position all come back to this this location uh, you want to see your keyframe so that you know it is much easier if you have a long video and you have many many keyframes you can actually see your animations are much better uh, from this panel rather than say on the panel over here by doing it this way you can reposition your keyframes uh, easier if you make changes if you have enjoyed this video check out what's on the screen right now where i will show you the different filmora features that you can use to enhance your video as well